Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. I had to go back to using my old phone to make the video with for tonight because my other phone that I only had for like six or seven months, it died on me. I think that thing had a demon in it or something. It, you shut it off, and it automatically turn its own self back on, or if it decided it wanted to shut off, it shut itself off and then come right back on. So, it finally died. I lost all my contacts in it, so I'm having to get a hold of everybody and have them send me their phone numbers again because nothing was saved on my SIM card. Ain't making that mistake again. But anyway, for tonight, on the menu, we are going to have tacos. But I'm not going to use regular hamburger meat. Tonight, I am going to be using ground deer meat. My father-in-law got a deer here, oh, it's probably been a month ago, right at a month ago, and I don't like deer steaks, but I found that by grounding it up, I kind of like it that way. I made some deer chili, and I ate, ate it, and if someone else had made it and set it, a bowl of it and a bowl of regular beef chili side by side and I didn't know which one was which, I wouldn't have been able to have told the difference. So by grinding it up, I, I like it this way because you can manipulate the taste of it. So I figure by adding taco seasoning to it and all the other stuff, excuse me, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> By adding all the other stuff to it, it's going to taste really good, I think. So, let's get down here and get started chopping some lettuce and tomatoes up. And I've got some cheese. I thought I had some sour cream, but I don't. So, what do you do when you don't have something? You either use something else or you do without. Tonight, we're going to do without. So, let's get down here. <clears throat> I got two bowls here for the tomatoes and the lettuce. So we're going to shred this lettuce. I'm going to use this serrated knife to do it with. Now it's just me that'll eat the lettuce. So I'm not going to do a whole bunch of it. My husband is not a lettuce person unless it's a salad. So I think for me... That's going to be a plenty. Kind of chop it, make it a little bit smaller, gently so you don't bruise it. We'll put that in there. Now we're going to get this tomato sliced up. I do like tacos. I like to eat them. I like to make them because they're fast. It doesn't take that long to fix them. Mostly because I like to eat them. I wish I had some farm fresh tomatoes, but in the winter time, you got to deal with store-bought. I hope everybody's weekend is going well. I'm going to finish getting these chopped up, and then I'm going to grab my taco shells, get the oven turned on, so it can be preheating, because those don't have to stay in the oven, but just for a few minutes. Then we'll have that done, because this deer meat won't take very long at all to cook, and we'll have some dinner done. 
these last couple pieces chopped up. And the tomato will be done. Alright, that's got the tomato all chopped up. And I've just got some mild cheddar cheese that I'm going to be using. Put this back in the refrigerator. Throw this in the sink. And let me grab some tacos and we'll be right back. I use the Stand and Stuff taco shells. I really like these. Let me get them out of the package and I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like. This is the bottom. So they'll set up just like that right there. And I, I really like these. I like the flavor of them. And I usually eat about three tacos. My husband, he'll usually eat three or four. So, there's the tacos ready to go in the oven. So now we're going to come over here and get started on the meat. So. We got the skillet on the stove heating up. We're going to go ahead and drop this deer meat in here. Now you notice how dark that deer meat is. Way darker than just regular beef. So we're going to throw this in here and then we'll mix up some taco seasoning with a little bit of water. And after this meat gets cooked, we'll add that to it. And then all we got to do is throw these tacos together. There's no fat in this deer meat. Let me wash my hands. Grab something to stir this with. This was the first time I ever ground up any kind of meat. I went and bought a meat grinder and it worked out pretty good. Probably better heat up all them taco shells because I'll bet my father-in-law, once he finds out we're having tacos made with deer meat, is probably going to want to come over here and eat too. So let me go grab a bigger pan. Now on the taco seasoning, I've got about a half a cup of water and I'm just going to eyeball some taco seasoning to put in here. And mix that up. I used one heaping teaspoon of taco seasoning and then just a very little bit on another. I think that'll be plenty. 
All right. This deer meat is done. So we're going to let this juice cook out just a little bit. As you can see, all that is in there, that right there, that's just liquid. That's not grease. So what I'm going to do is get a spoon and a bowl and scoop that out. Just going to scoop that out into a little bowl. Now I could leave it and it will cook itself out. We're just going to help it out a little bit. Alright, that's all we're going to get out of there. Now we're going to pour in the taco seasoning. Give that a stir. I haven't used this phone in a while, so I seriously hope it's recording. Alright, now we're going to let this cook for just a little bit. I'm going to put the tacos in, taco shells in the oven. Let me grab them. Let me move y'all back out of the way just a little bit where I can get this oven opened. I need to clean this oven. We're going to set that timer for about five minutes. Just that quick. Ooh, that smells good. I wish we had smell a vision on here where y'all could smell this. But then again, it's probably a good thing we don't because if you did, if you could smell it, y'all be beating my door down. But that's all right because I make more. We're going to let those taco shells finish heating up. Don't pay no mind to them dirty dishes in the sink. There's just a few of them in there, and I thought, well, I'm just going to wait till after dinner before I tackle the dishes. But we're going to set this taco meat aside because it's done. The shells got five minutes, and then they'll be heated up, and then I can fix me some tacos, and we can try them out and see how they taste. But I'd like to take this moment to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining my channel, and I do hope that you give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Leave me a comment if you really like it. Um... If you have any suggestions, I'm open to, n to new ideas. Now, I know some people like avocado in their tacos. I don't care for avocados. Um, I got nothing against them. If you like them, I just don't. I never have. Um, but to the one that's watching my video right now and it's your first time to watch, if you like what you see and you like what you hear, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Don't subscribe because I'm asking you to, but I really would like for you to. Subscribe because you want to, because you like what I do, or maybe you like what I've said. That's what I want you to subscribe for. I am no chef, by no means. Um, Simple meals.
That's what you're going to find around here. The simpler it is, the better I like it. The most difficult thing I make, hmm, let me rephrase that. The one thing I make that I struggle with, chicken and dumplings. I ain't never been able to make, and I'm a southern woman. God help me. I ain't never been able to make chicken and dumplings. For some reason, my dumplings always disintegrate. Even if I turn the fire down low, where they're just at a real low simmer, or put a lid on them, they still disintegrate. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But one of these days, I figure practice makes better. I won't say perfect, but it does make better. So one of these days, I'm going to give it another shot and try to make me another pot of chicken and dumplings because my husband loves them and so do I. But that's the one thing I struggle with. The rest of the stuff I make, yeah, it's, it's really simple. Ain't nothing difficult about it. But these taco shells now, they're down to two minutes, so they're fixing to beep, and my husband's fixing to come in. So we're going to wait for those to get done, and then we'll be right back, so stick around. All right, we're going to get started making these tacos. So let's get down here, and I'll show you how I make mine. Now here we got three taco shells. I like to take a little bit of cheese, put it in the bottom of each one of them. I figure you can never have too much cheese. All right, now we're gonna take a little bit of the deer meat, about a spoonful for each one, about all you need. Might be a little too much, but oh well. All right, we got the meat in them. Now we're going to take a little bit of lettuce. Sprinkle that over. These are going to be good, y'all. We got tomatoes. Can't have a taco without tomatoes. Unless you can't eat tomatoes, and then I guess you can. All righty. I'm even dry my hand off. Ain't nothing worse than having a wet hand and sticking it in cheese. Now we're going to put a little bit more cheese on the top. Just to make them pretty. Alright. <clears throat> there are my tacos. Ooh, yummy. Let me see about getting a picture. Well, I hope that took a picture. So now we're going to give them a taste. Get you up here where you can see my smiling face. The lava will scare the crap out of you. Bon appetit. Now, I will say, I think it could have used just a little bit more taco seasoning. But other than that, can't tell the difference between ground beef and ground deer meat. Those are really good. Would have been over the top if I'd have had some sour cream. But, as luck would have it, I'm out. So, this is dinner tonight. Tacos. If you haven't had a taco in a while, and if you've never had them with deer meat, and you've got an opportunity to get your hands on some of that ground up deer meat, give them a try. I think you'll like them. But with that, I will say good night, God bless, 
Take care. And until we meet again, have a wonderful evening.